Bara en i van Wijk. Ja. Van de Kora Kultais tribe of the Western Cape, the Korana Council. You know, before I want to uh, ask my question, I just want to relay what Steve Biko said in 1977 before his death. He said, the most lethal weapon of the oppressor is the minds of the oppressed. And in the Western Cape, we have got that problem. Many people are free in body, but not in mind. The indigenous people, the Khoikhoi and the Bushman nation, have made several attempts to engage the Department of Cooperative Covenants and Traditional Affairs and other relevant departments to enter into a meaningful negotiations like a mini Kodesa. Our identity is still at stake. Cultural genocide that has been committed, the human rights that are blatantly violated even today. The state thus far has played a very divisive role by engaging people who have no right, like the National Khoisan Council, who are merely puppets and playing to the tune of the puppet master. This is being done on national level and international level. Now my question is this. How could this government deliver any progress reports to the United Nations Permanent Forum without being engaged with legitimate customary structures? Is the state serious about human rights for all? What is the relevance of both the major political parties in this province when they are failing to work together in order to save the lives of the indigenous people in all com indigenous communities who are being killed on a daily basis. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you very much indeed uh, for your very short, short question. <laughs> all right, yes, Mr. Minister. Just the issue of at the international front at the United Nations, the South African government as well, we all know that there's respect and it's even in the regulatory framework of South Africa, the recognition. So that's not a, a, a issue. The issue is how do the Khoi San community, Omheni, Chief Heni, how do you unite so that you, in fact, speak in one voice? That's the debate. The South African government at a national level is there. There is a Khoisan, there is the national structure which Romani refers to as a structure that is really just a, a rubber stamp. Now, it's not the government that elected that structure. It's the representatives of the Khoisan community in South Africa. And therefore, if there's an issue, it's important that that issue internally amongst yourself needs to be addressed. And that is a very, very uh, important issue because we must speak to everyone. The bigger prob um, reality is in this year's State of the Nation address, Chief Heni, we do know that the President, in fact, on the back of the National Conference in Mangaung, um, last year the President instructed that the issue around land redistribution and the, re the g doing it, justice to an injustice in terms of the 1913, that that must be corrected and therefore there is a reopening of the land claims issues preceding 1913 to accommodate the Khoisan community. Secondly, two years ago, on the 6th of August in 2011, there was a meeting in the Western Cape, also of the Khoi community, and letters were written to the president to national ministers, to the premier, to the mayor. It's only the president and national ministers that has, has arrived. At that meeting, the premier has written to, to, to the Khoi community and said that at that point of time, don't recognize the Khoi community in the Western Cape. So yes, the battle is on. But let's not, let's not direct it at times in a way as if the South African government is not behind that. The key thing is we have to make sure there's unity amongst your own constituency and the government should not decide who your leadership are. You have to help us to decide who that are. Okay. All right, let's go.